Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Lomachenko, he got an 11th round stoppage over George Cambosis. He looks spectacular. I told you guys, for some reason, at 135, Lomachenko, he always looks spectacular when he's fighting against a guy that lost to the guy that he actually lost to. But with that being said, Lomachenko is one of the most dangerous fighters in the sport because of his extreme boxing IQ, his defense, and his accuracy. Some fan on the internet, on Twitter, Diego Myra, he said Javante would never fight Lomachenko. And Javante, he replied by saying, he's after Frank. Let me get Frank first. Guys, this is great news to hear this straight from Javante. I've been waiting to hear this from Davis for years. Because when Davis says this, that means the fight, it will happen. It doesn't matter if he's with PBC and Lomachenko's with ESPN. At the end of the day, it's always been up to the fighters to make these fights come to fruition. When Javante and Ryan Garcia wanted to fight against each other, it did not matter that Ryan was with the zone and Javante was with PBC. That fight happened because both fighters wanted the fight. So in order for us to get Javante versus Vasil Lomachenko, all we need is both fighters to agree to fight each other. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, and I've always told you guys this, Lomachenko, he is a very dangerous opponent for anyone. And he will definitely be dangerous for Javante Tank Davis. But obviously at the same time, Javante is gonna be extremely dangerous for Lomachenko, especially if he lands a punch clean. The one thing about Lomachenko, and he's always been this way, he bruises very easily. So once again, if Javante can land punches on him, Loma's face is gonna fall apart and eventually he might end up getting knocked out. But that's only if Javante can land clean punches. Once again, that's not easy to do on Loma. He makes you work extremely hard just to land one clean shot. But I'm going to tell you, since once again, the same fans that were rooting against Devin Haney will be rooting against Javante if he does fight Lomachenko, that's what's going to make this fight so much bigger. Because the sport of boxing is based on race, nationality, and pride in that order. And race fans are going to come out by the millions to watch a fight like this because of what is at stake. And Lomachenko's big stoppage win over George Cambosis further promotes a Davis-Lomachenko fight. But first, Davis has to get past Frank Martin, which is not a guarantee he's gonna win that fight. This is the first time that he's fighting against an undefeated slick American fighter with athleticism and a high boxing IQ. With that all being said, I'ma wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body oil athletes and top ranking boxers they're also using it after training to reduce swelling inflammation and to ease the pain so get yours today go to lodkey.com like them on facebook and follow them on instagram